Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield. Last time around we did quite a lot of questing. We did a lot of miscellaneous quests in Neon. We did a bunch of the Freestar Collective plotline. And uh, we actually had finished up quite a few odds and ends. Leveled up my lockpicking to Master. Today, I'm going to try to finish the Freestar Collective uh, questline if we can. I don't know how much is left. But one thing that we did is we just got Barrett onto our ship. What I'd like to do is talk to him and get his background. Maybe see if he has like background discussions and story about his, uh, you know, things like that. Um, and then I think what we'll do is uh, go to the next quest. All right, so let's do it, shall we? Let's talk to Barrett and see what he has to talk about. Here, this is for you. Uh, for me, thank you. Yes, of course it's for you. Anyway, I figured you might have a use. What's he giving me? Uh, definitely, I appreciate it. My pleasure. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it. What did he give me? A spaghetti carbonara? <laughs> he handed me a pasta dish. Gee, thanks. You should tell I'm Italian, huh? All right, thanks, Barry. I appreciate that. I'll slurp it right down. All right. Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions about spaghetti carbonara? Yes. Uh, tell me about yourself. Let's see. I've been in Constellation for a long time, as you know. I enjoy cheese, mm -hmm. my work, wow. and long walks on unexplored He's very forward about planets. the kind of foods he likes. <laughs> what else did you want to know about? He enjoys cheese. He's like Steve Urkel. About your artifact. I think about it a lot. There's so many possibilities. Some wonderful, some terrifying. I'm not a fearful man, but I am just a man. It is true. I'm like, keenly aware that this artifact could change my life, or end. Right. It. We don't. We have no idea what the artifact is. Right. We found a couple pieces. We're gonna probably find more for constellation over the course of the game, and we we don't even know what we're collecting. What is? It? Is this a weapon? Is it a marker to tell us about an ancient civilization? Is it a source of power? Is it a cheese dispenser? It could be anything. <laughs> kind of interesting, right? <clears throat> X-Shooter says Barrett's his favorite character. Double M says, what level am I? I don't know. We could find out once I finish my conversation. Um, uh, where did you see... What did you see when you picked up your artifact? Well, when I picked it up, I had no idea what it was. I knew it was something spectacular, though. I saw a vision. Flashing lights. A whole shebang. A whole shebang. Mark, I'm glad to hear Mark McCauley is having a Japanese vacation right now. He's in Japan touring, and he's doing fun stuff. I'm glad to hear it's good to have you here. He says, I hope you're well. Japan is massive fun. I'm glad you're really enjoying it. I know a trip to Japan is very expensive, so I hope that you're really enjoying for what, what you're spending. I hope you're having a great time. Sounds good. What do you think the visions mean? Well, he certainly means something, because not everyone who touches the artifacts sees them. Huh. My first instinct was it was a message of some kind, like the Voyager records. Communication from a higher life form reaching out blindly into space. But now I'm wondering if the vision wasn't just sensory. My new theory is something's changed in us physiologically. Physiologically. As in not just a message from beyond, but a delivery. Huh. You think so? Where did you find where did you find your artifact? On Bendy. No, wait. It was Kazar. How does he not even remember? Uh, I can feel Lynn's admonishing stare boring a hole in my back. Yeah, she's here. She's <laughs> not actually standing behind me, is she? Ah, <laughs> you know she's well, on the, the, the ship. My story is probably a lot like yours. We dug a pit, found some really wonky readings, and followed them to the artifact. All right. All right. I, does he have any other sure. things he can answer? No. Okay. Let me know if there's anything Maybe else. Maybe we have to actually take him out on missions. And that's probably well, that's all I have when to. he'll start to open up to us about himself. Probably. Let's go rest. Let's go sleep to get our health back. And then we'll head out. And uh, like I said, we'll probably do the next Freestar Collective mission. Let's get a... Oh, walked right into the bathroom. Uh, let's take a nap. Where's the bed? Where's the cot? Yeah. Here it is. Sleep for an hour. One local hour is two and a half hours. Let's hope. So much to do. Okay, so we're off. Fishy business. Is that what we're doing? Hold on a second here. I 
Jesus shit. So by the way, I'm level 15. Level 15 for those asking. Uh, no. It's not what we're doing. We're doing... Go to the Red Mile. Oh, this is completely different than what I thought. We're going to the Red Mile. Okay, it says, I'm tracking Marco Graziani, the head of a smuggling cartel and senior member of the first. Marshal Blake suggested I talk to Ranger Otto McMillan, who's been trying to crack Marco's smuggling operation, currently at the infamous Red Mile Cantina. All right, we're going back to the Red Mile. We've already been there, but we're going back. All right. <clears throat> here we go. Well, thank you all for chilling with me here today and enjoying Starfield as we continue on with our journey. Uh, this game likely will end up becoming a late-night mile. chill stream well, very soon because we have game. multiple new releases coming out next week. So for those of you who have been enjoying it as a daytime stream, thanks. But very shortly, it will end up being a, a night endeavor for me. If you like relaxing late-night streams, it's probably going to be one for a while. So, <clears throat> okay. Red Mile has always had a complicated place in our society. Back into the Red Mile. We've already done it once. My wife gave me some interesting tips. She's like, you're going to do this again for whatever reason. Use one of your uh, boosting items. She says there's multiple items that will boost things like your, your O2 recovery, your stamina. So be able to basically like, run through the whole Red Mile without running out of stamina. I'm like, oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. I have all these items I've never used before, so maybe I should uh, make use of them. Okay, this is our contact. Okay, Autumn McMillan. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. Gee, thanks. Are you gonna look at me or are you gonna look over there? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Hello? Excuse me? The marshal's report didn't mention you had hearing problems. Whoa! Are you, or are you not, the new deputy? Are you, or are you not a bitch? Holy shit. What's your problem? My problem is that I don't want to be saddled with a rookie deputy. Wow. That is who you are, right? <laughs> Holy shit. All right, anyway, I'm neither wide-eyed nor clueless. There. We'll find out, won't we? Well... Your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Sorry to be a bother. I've got a job to do. Don't worry about me. I can handle myself. Lose the attitude. Why are you assuming I'll be a burden? Because I've trained new recruits before, and it's not an experience I want to repeat. I'm sorry to be a bother. Listen, I got a job to do. I'm just going to say, don't worry about me. I can handle myself. I hope so. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're going to have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. What is this music? <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Game Master. We did a super chat and he says... New Starfield patch is the FPS better. I wasn't aware there was a new Starfield patch. There is? I didn't know that. If there is, uh, I just started playing. I couldn't tell you. I guess we'll have to keep our eyes peeled. Thank you, Mr. Game Master, for this first Super Chat of the day. I appreciate that. All right. Uh... Let's just go meet your contacts so you'll shut the fuck up and stop being annoying. Follow me. It's my favorite song to play back. If you're looking to register, uh, you'll need to... Donovan Reese. <laughs> he ran the Red Mile nearly 30 times. Most folks never survive once. What the hell is walking into him? Man would have been yes, a hell of an explorer. <laughs> anyway. Come on, sit. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? I'm Deputy Fartknocker. I'm a good friend of Autumn. She was thrilled to see me. Wait, 
Autumn has friends. <laughs> like hell. The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Uh... They're trying to take land from farmers. I want to know why. Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Hmm. Except now he's looking to expand his operation. And he started moving in on my territory. Encroaching on your territory. Kagome, I'm glad to hear that. Kagome says, a little angry, but your streams make me forget it and, uh, you know, distract them from the things that make them mad in life. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. There you go. All right. So, help me find him and bring him to justice. Tell me where he is. Why do you stay out of Three Star Face? It'll be a shame if Marco put you out of business, would it? If you think this gives you some kind of leverage, you're wrong. <laughs> sure, he might slow me down for a while, but a little competition won't break me. All right, tell me where he is. I want to take that bastard out. <laughs> now you're talking. Look, the bad news is Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is I know how to find him. But you're not going to tell us yet because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. They divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I can be persuasive. I mean, I have high persuade. Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. I already money. did the run, so they're gonna make me do it again, people huh? that hard-blooded They're gonna make me do the run again. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. I already, I already did the run with May, so this whole thing makes no you. sense. She would know me, too. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. There you go. I've run the mile before. I can handle it. Yup. You serious? Yeah. Damn. There's not many people who can say that. If it's really oh, as simple impressed. as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die. Will you? How stupid. Really going to I've already done it, mile, and I gotta huh? do it again. Right? Hey, That's pretty dumb. What? Excuse me, what? Inside the Viper's Nest, the incredible true story of a serpent's crusade. Oh, remember, that's religious. That's the religion of one of those factions, hey, right? If you have time, I've been thinking about some things. Now he wants to talk, to talk in to the middle of a mission? You're serious. Ferret, you idiot. I just wanted to say thanks for the daring rescue back there. Oh, now you want to talk about it. I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. You're welcome. Refresh my memory, Matsura. I'll say you're welcome. Glad to help you. It's good to be part of a team, isn't it? <laughs> part of something so much bigger than any one of us. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. That's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. Glad to be part of a team. I put my trust in people, not organizations. Exactly how often do you get into jams, Barrett? Let's say that. <laughs> exactly as often as I need to. Jams are just sticky successes, <clears throat> right? At first it seems annoying, but it eventually washes off. Right. All right, I'm glad to be part of the team. Uh, just wait till we get matching shirts uh, and start having official cookie days. Casual Fridays. Charming, but no thanks. I'm guessing gourmet chunks days are out of the question then. Don't worry, I'm just joking. 
Consolation is so much more than that. But they really do Speaking have the gourmet chunk stays, right? I'm glad you joined Constellation. Flirt? <laughs> we just we literally just had like one conversation with the guy. Flirt with him. Just that natural romance, let me tell you guys. Uh how long have you been in Constellation? A long time. We should talk about it someday. I'd need to get some tea going for that chat, though. All right, just say thank you, Barry. Just figured I'd mention it since we haven't had much. You want to talk to about how before. you naturally don't develop a, you know, a relationship? It's a one conversation that doesn't happen. Given me a lot of opportunities and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Irvin? Lost him, Who's Irvin? Oh, here we go. Who's Irvin? Irvin Madani was my husband. He just liked he that. He was also a brilliant biologist who joined Constellation a couple of years ago. Why did he just like that? Yeah, so he's gone now. <laughs> I, I remember his bright smiles when I returned from my trips. <laughs> wow. More brilliant than any star. Why? Why did he dislike me asking? If he didn't, if he didn't want to talk about it, he should just said, "I don't want to talk about it." Why would it rank against you for asking him about his personal background when you're supposed to get to know your crew members? That didn't make any sense at all, right? That's really stupid. He should have been like, "I don't want to talk about it." Okay, that's fine. Here, I hope I'm not stirring up bad memories for you. It's not you, Captain. <clears throat> it's just been on my mind. Can't say why. Everything Whoa, he's desynced for over twenty years. Strange now he's synced again. He was desynced for a second. <laughs> that was really weird. Maybe, maybe they changed his dialogue or something. Yeah. If you want to talk about it? I'm here for you. Oh, I've been giving myself he likes but that. space and time <laughs> for years. But maybe it's time for me to really think about it. Well, maybe I'll take you up on that offer later on, Captain. I need some time to think about things. On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. So his husband died, which is kind of fucked up, I guess. I mean, obviously it's fucked up. Um, hopefully he'll, you know, I want, I want to get to know the major crew members. Like Lynn had that fun discussion and then never talked about it ever again. Nothing quite and then she doesn't even say anything. So hopefully certain crew members will be better than others. That's what I'm hoping, okay? So. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, anyway. So, here we go. We have to talk to May, and then I think if we pump a bunch of, like, healing items, we should be able to, like, increase our... Oh, what happened here? My health? I'm well rested. Oh, it's good. It's a good status effect. I thought it was a bad status effect. What um what aid do we have? Suppress addiction, damage resistance, energy resistance, movement speed increased, and jump height increased. So this is what I want to use. Amp. This is definitely what I want to use. Amp. Okay. Um What else? Ah! Boudica. You get bonus O2 and 300 damage resistance. Oh, this is the one that's persuasion increase. Oh, wow. Hippolyta. Okay, I might want to use this later. Why do I have an onion? I have an onion on me. Movement noise. That's for stealth. I don't need that right now. Red harvest spaghetti. Looks delicious. Okay. So I think... Oh, here's another one. Squall. Movement speed. I don't want to use this because it's going to be damage buff. And I don't care about the damage buff. Um, this I need for crafting. Yogurt. Alright, so it's going to be that amp. I'm going to pop that amp when I do the red mile here. And that's going to uh, allow us to do it faster. Hopefully more efficiently. Um... Mark says, I'm going to go to the Capcom Cafe tomorrow. The Capcom store was nice. You saw a Street Fighter 2 Turbo soundtrack. Yes. That's awesome that you're able to buy, like, game soundtracks over there. 
and also that awesome Ryu statue out front of the, the Capcom store was really awesome. It's really cool in Japan. They have really like nice themed things for gamers. All right, let's talk to her. I'm looking for Marco. I understand you two are acquainted. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his... Can't hear you. What is your too goddamn loud. Exactly. I want to work for him. It's no small favor that you're asking. I but lied. Yes, I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to... I can't hear you. <laughs> Why is the music so loud? It's like blaring in my right my right neck phone. It's like real loud pumping in my ear. All right. Is there another way I can do it? Oh, I'm afraid no. this is the only. I think I persuade. She won't let me. No persuasion check. At least for now. <clears throat> All right, fine. Good. As before. I'll collect wages. All right, all right. I'm definitely coming back alive. That's blah blah blah. Sweat. Who knows? Maybe the mile's not as bad as everyone said. I've already done it. I use run through like an idiot. Expected. Are you ready to begin? Yes. I'm gonna pump that amp. Good. 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 <laughs> the fuck? Nice voice acting. She has like four people here. Look, no one cares. No one even cares. They'll just stand there and like, ah, fuck again, get stupid shit. Where's here to gamble? We don't want to do some stupid red mile, so don't. Why should other people do this? Three people showed up. Fucking three people. Wow. No, they're not even looking. They don't care. They're like, geez, he really thinks that this is uh, something way more popular than it is, huh? Three people. How many people live here? Ten? <laughs> I know what to do. We've done it already. Open the goddamn door. Return here alive. So dramatic. Just to run up and down a hill. Shut up. Alright. <laughs> Won't stop gabbing. I already did it once. Of course I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> it's not gonna be different. It's gonna be the same thing I've already done, right? Okay. Cleo says, Neon is my favorite planet so far. I've been on a few. Uh, are you ready? I'm going to take the amp and I'm going to start running. My first amp. All right, here we go. Uh, the Red Mile Mauler. I got stuck in place for no reason. Yeah, I'm running way fast. Of course, my CO2 now is running out. All right. Roar. A roar. Ooh, a roar. But anyway, yeah, I've been to many different cities. Neon and Aquila City and New Atlantis are pretty much the most interesting ones. Like, Red Mile is pretty boring. Did you just bite my butt cheeks? And then I got my butt cheeks bit. How do I tell when the amp runs out? I'm still moving faster. I... Fucking I'm in a nuts. Fuck my testicles. Okay, there. Toxic gas vent. 
Why are you so toxic, bro? Why am I toxic? Bro! Stop striking my balls! They're all just, just, just punching the nutsack with their big horned heads. Amp wore off. Nah, I don't even think I need another one. I think I'm fine if I just walk normally. Bro, why am I so toxic? Oh, nice frame rate right there. Oh, that was good. That makes me feel confident that uh, the game won't crash. It's such a crappy, dumb thing. Run up there, touch the button, run back. Look at the frame right now. Oh my god. And when the frame rate tanks, the game runs in slow mo too. Like the, your responsiveness, your controls goes out too. So it's kind of like everything goes at once. Well, I don't know where Barrett is. He's probably dead. Where are we going? That was the red mile. Literally, you were supposed to run in, press the button, and run out. And that's it. Barrett's gone. Barrett's completely missing now. Great. Well, hopefully he's on the ship. I don't know where the fuck he went. Stalker and Reese? Who's talking there? You hear that? Stalker and Reese are having a conversation. About the, the, the Red Mile, apparently. And Donovan? Who are these people? Yeah, he's, uh, Barrett's completely gone. Oh well, hopefully he's not dead. Get out of my face before I put a bullet in your head. Yeah. Hello. Former winners are always welcome back here. I'm a two-time winner now. Congratulations. What do I get? Sir. Last time I got a shotgun. Once again, you've succeeded where most have failed. To challenge the mile more than once and live to tell the tale is rare indeed. Now it's your turn. Indeed you have, and in most impressive fashion. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. Where's, I want a reward. I want a gun or something. I didn't get nothing, jerk. Last time I got a shotgun. Stalker? Oh, here they are. Stalker and Donovan are having a conversation. Try picking a fight with someone who isn't carrying fire. Ah, she's talking shit to him. I can only hold my subordinates back for so long before they finally get tired of your BS. Wow. Get the hell out of my face, you pretentious black I'm already involved in this conversation. It's a good thing you're so funny, Reese. It's the only thing keeping me from kicking your ass. It's really simple out there on the red mile. Wow. Just don't die. <laughs> it's funny because he's supposed to be the, the what, the big champion who's won the red mile more than anyone else, but it says like no one likes him. He made it. You must be tougher than you look. You're back. Are you okay? No, I lost all my limbs. Now she likes me. Here now she's being nice. Sati, my dear. Better than ever, it was fun. And here I was feeling like a nervous wreck the whole time. <laughs> Guess I had nothing to worry about. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it See, through. now she's being nice. What? What an idiot. Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that See, so you kind walk in, she thinks you're like a, a, a also, fucking rookie I... noob. I owe you an apology. Yeah, you do. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. You should unload your wallet right now. Empath, I sense your hostility stems from a past tragedy. How could you possibly... <laughs> Maybe someday I can... Uh, but no. No. Now isn't the time. We need to focus on the task at hand. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. 
That's By the way, I have no recollection Always of when I became an empath. When system. was that? Was that the beginning of the I'll game? I don't remember. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. I really have no recollection of when that happened. All right, go talk to May again. I gotta get a new shirt so it doesn't look like I, I have stinky pits. This stinky pit shirt is very, uh, worn out its welcome. Where is she down here? Oh, this is her office? I figured it's much earlier. Can I sit and talk to her? No. I can't sit and talk to her. You gotta stand up. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> you should have all chairs in talking distance of the person you want to speak with. Why do I gotta go around her desk to talk to her? Time for me to keep my promise, runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. Kodos. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. I'll be heading for Kodos. What else can you tell me about him? He's intelligent, well-connected, and utterly ruthless. He's also a man of taste who appreciates the finer things. You'll find out soon enough what I mean. Was that combat music? Oh, I have no idea. Did someone start fighting? I didn't start fighting anyone. I don't know. What'd your message say about me? Only that someone wanted a meeting. Don't expect to catch him unprepared. He keeps a sizable force of mercenaries aboard his ship as bodyguards. Oh, I did? Piricato says I picked Empath as a trait when I started the game. I remember picking the uh, Adoring Fan. I remember picking the class that had Lockpick, Research, and Persuade. I don't remember picking Empath, but... I'll take your word for it. Obviously, you guys probably... <laughs> you watched my first part. It was almost two weeks ago now. It's crazy. Time has flown by. I feel like I just started playing this game, and we're over 20 hours in. So I, I feel like we just started the game. I really do. Anyway, all right. I'll be heading for Kodos. Good. Travel safely, runner. This place kind of sucks. Did you ever crave the challenge of the mile again? It will be here. Waiting. I could literally do this 20 times. What do I keep getting? Any good any good rewards? Because the first time she gave me a shotgun, that was good. This time, I, it was for the story. I didn't get nothing. Wait, Barrett? What? What the fuck? Barrett's back. Where was he in the bath? Maybe he was in the bathroom. Taking a big steamer dump. Or something. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, actually, we can just leave now, right? Go to Kodos. All right, let's go to Kodos. Oh shit! Whoa! We're under attack, baby! Holy crap! Oh, uh, let's burst! Boost, I mean, not burst. Boost. Yeah, right. Get it. Kill this fuck face. Sock him, sock him. Wait, now they're not aggroing? What happened? Now they're not aggroing. Where's the enemy? What happened? I don't know where the enemy is now. Merchant freighter. I thought we were dead, but uh, those spacers were terrified. I can't believe it. We were saved by the mantis. We were saved by the mantis. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm the Mantis. I am the ghost story that strikes terror in spacers and the Crimson Fleet alike. Okay. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. You're just like how I imagined. All right, that's pretty funny. So is it customary to give the Mantis some sort of reward? The Mantis never takes a reward. Bless you, sir. Uh, Ma'am. I can't believe we were rescued. That's like, right. Spread my legacy wait, throughout the universe. Wait. You both gotta be pulling my leg here. Your friend is right. The righteous act is my only reward. Here you go. This has gotta be the weirdest day. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. Classic Mantis. Well, then. Thank you, Mantis. Ship's repaired. We'll be heading out. I'm gonna get a good reputation in the galaxy now for saving people. So I scared them off, yeah. That's what happened. Dude, this is a glitch. It says enemy missiles are locked on, and they're not. It's a complete glitch. There's no enemy. The enemy ran away. 
Anyway. Alright. Here we go. Let's land on Fortuna. Oh, Fortuna! That was pretty fun. So there's a random encounter. A spacer attacking a merchant. We, we shoot the spacer. The spacer runs off like a coward. And then the uh, merchant thanks us. Setting down. Everything in the green. Whoa, what's with this special landing animation? Interesting. Oh, Fortuna! used to wonder if life was unique to our world. Not only is it not, but it seems to take every opportunity to emerge. What do we got? Anything to scan around here? Anything unique? Yeah, there's something right there we can scan. See that? What's this? A wanderer's husk. Scan. Harvest? No, just scan it. Wanderer's husk. There's another one. Scan a couple of them before we go to the ship. We haven't done any of this in a million years. Last time I tried to do this like 10 hours ago, my game crashed. So I, I never bothered trying it again. So people are saying they patched the game today. I wasn't even aware that they did. Uh, so I didn't know if the game is performing any better or not. That's why I didn't do any planetary exploration because the first time I tried, the whole game crashed. I was like, well, I'm not going to waste time on that then. Walk under the ship. Snoop around. Ah. Now I'm stuck under the ship. Oh, this isn't good. I'm stuck under it. Oh, this is... What happened? Oh, come on. I don't want to glitch out and get stuck under the ship. Come on. Keep, do, the, do the duck walk. Come on, Barrett. Do the duck walk with me. Oh, I'm stuck. No, I can't... I really can't get out. I can't walk this direction. It won't let me. Oh, well, let's go straight then. I wasn't expecting this to happen. <clears throat> I mean, it is a Bethesda game. I guess I should have expected it, but... I was hoping for the best. Okay. Alright, let's board the Fortuna. Old Fortuna. Confront Marco! I must confront him. Save here. They let those little slippers out. Oh. They're actually called easy slips. How nice. Nice easy slips. I wish I had easy slips to wear on my spaceship. Whoa! What is this ritzy ship? This is like... It's like a hotel. What the heck? You Fancy place. I admire the class. Does this I guy do. seriously have a receptionist? He has a receptionist on his spaceship. What the hell? This is a glass case, and he's got a snow globe within the glass case. Those are digipics, right? What, if you kill everyone on, on here, can you freaking steal all the stuff? What's this? This music is gonna put me to sleep. An ear grub. Ew, that thing goes in your ear? That's nasty. <clears throat> Alien tick? What else do they got here? Chat is completely silent. I don't know why you guys are so quiet. Why are you guys not speaking at all? It's very bizarre. This is the rec room. Let's have some fun. Nice ship, huh? Here to join the first. Oh, it's a eat. Best He's got company there is. A Canuck ham boys. A ham sandwich with fries. Look at that. There's the game room. Wow, their game room's a fucking mess. Clean this shit up so you can use it. A weapons workbench. Security off. Yeah, why'd you take a vow of silence? No more vow of silence. <laughs> you must speak. The fire. This is a fire extinguisher? It looks like a sign. This guy has no name. It doesn't matter if you kill him then. He has no name. He's not an NPC of any importance. They're sheets. I guess they're doing their laundry. First, don't mess around. Pretty big ship. The bathroom, the washroom. A personal groomer just left out. How nice. Here we go. Ew. Someone, uh, 
Someone had a bad time of it. They must have ate too many of the alien scrambles. <laughs> and they let loose with a nice alien liquid li uh, jet. Holy crap. And here's where you can shower. So I went the wrong way, I guess. We ended up in the bathroom. <clears throat> okay. You're lucky to get a meeting with Mark. Turrets? Yeah, I bet I could take everybody Feels out here if I wanted to. It wouldn't be a big know. deal. At least the collection is museum worthy. Oh shit, I don't want to do this. If I do this, they'll probably shoot me, right? Or I could try it anyway. Fuck it, let's try it. Let's save. And let's see if I can get in here because it doesn't say trespassing if I do it, which is hilarious. Let's see what happens here. Okay, um... If I do this... I don't... Oh, yes, we do. This one. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Now we're in his private quarters, and no one's looking because they're stupid. Yo, it's safe. I get... No one's looking. No one's looking. I fucking take whatever I want, I guess, right? Easy pickings. Got a bunch of dunces. You got some great security here. Professional calibrated coachman. This is better than my current shotgun. See that? It is. It's better than my current shotgun, so I'm going to take it. So I'm going to un... Where, where's the other coachman that I'm using? Uh, The brute force. Wait, never mind. The brute force is better. Oh, never mind. The brute force is, like, way better. Oops. I can give this to, uh... I can give this to, to Barrett. Maybe he'll use it. Here. Come over here. Hello, Captain. Let me carry that. That's all he has? All he has on him is, uh... <laughs> is that ammo. That's it. So here, I'll give him the, uh... The weapon. What should I give him? I'll give him that. Should I give him something else? Eh... I wonder if he needs ammo, or if he's like, in previous companions, never needed ammo, right? What the fuck? Look at that. Here, you can have that. Take that helmet. I don't want it. Actually, I like this outfit. I want to equip this one. That's better than the other one. I'll give him this. Well, okay then. What else will we find in here? Boom pop cherry door. This private bathroom, look. You can take whatever you want. They seriously don't care. They're just letting you fucking steal everything. What a bunch of morons. Okay, well, hey, I'll take whatever I want then. What's this? History of the Pirates. The boosted calibrated Kraken. I'll sleep in this fucking bed if I want. Folder, deck of cards. Mercury camera? This old, old ass camera. What is that? A vial. A chamomile pack. Humidifier. Expert. But all this is gonna do is take me back out, right? Let me save, because obviously if I can. Uh, uh, open these lock these doors I want to because this is gonna level my lock picking skill right so even though I'm not getting anything for it 
it's still worth it because it levels up lockpicking to the point where I'm going to get another level, so I want to keep doing them anyway. But there's no point to doing them. This is really stupid. Let's see. So if I do this one... No, there's no... There's nothing that's that wide that I can see. If I do this one... Then I can do this. No, I can't. Fuck, I fucked up. I fucked it all up. Any two equivalents? Do we have two equivalents? We do. Yeah. Okay. Shit. Now, I fucked it up. I can't do it now. I don't have enough to do it. Ugh, I fucked it up. I have the wrong ones. Auto slot. Doesn't work. I fucked it up! Starting over. Okay. Uh, let's not fuck it up this time. Like this first one, you have to use the single. It's the only way to do it. There's no way to do this without using the single. The difference is, do you do this and the single? Or do you do this and the single? That's the real question. So I'm going to go with this and the single. Again, you have to use this in another single, but we have tons of singles, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And then this one's easy, right? Yep. levels up my lock picking and I didn't even need to do it. I'm just doing it for leveling. It's kind of silly, but okay. Okay. Another expert. Do these fast. <clears throat> another one where it looks like I have to do the single. There's no way to do this without using a single. Yeah. this is right. Oh, shit. It could be either one. It could be this or this, but aren't they equal? Maybe not. They're, like, slightly off. Ugh. So it's a guess. Either one is a guess. Fuck. If I do this one, I need the wider one. Okay. I need the wider one. Yep, there we go. Did it. So I've unlocked all the doors. <laughs> right? I've unlocked all the doors, and there's no reason to do that. <clears throat> but I'm leveling up my lockpicking, so I guess it was worth it. They allow you to take all of this. Like, none of this is considered stealing. It's weird. Wait, seriously? I could just steal these credits? No. Why can I just take the credits? Let me save again. Let's see what happens. Ready? You're fucking kidding me. Why can I just take these? This has got to be screwed up. You definitely shouldn't be able to take those. Right? Barrett, what are you doing? What the? Why are you on a chair? Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you 
wanted to leave. <laughs> If you're looking what is going on? The organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Show badge, show badge, your organization. You've heard of the first, I take it. I'm not just a member, I also help to fund the outfit through a network of independent traders. Of course, illicit goods are the most lucrative, so there is a constant need for skilled pilots. Welcome back, CJ. I got questions about the first. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent the deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. It was wrong, Marco. Did we hurt your feelings? Uh, and who might you be? <coughs> Name's Barry. I seem to recall a smuggler by that name. He was good, too. That was a long time ago. Aha. Uh -huh. That's too bad. I could have used someone like you. He knows him. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future. <clears throat> assuming we all keep our heads. So I want details. I'm going to bring down the first. You mentioned the Major. Is that who runs the first? That's right. Major Hull spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. Huh. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, I've not chosen mine. Why would the Major want to force a confrontation? To settle <clears> accounts. <throat> Major Hull served with distinction during the Colony War. But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turn on him. In his eyes, the Rangers are enforcers for a corrupt council of governors. That makes you his enemy. As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. I prefer to focus on the future. All right. Well, I want details. I'm not going to force anything with him. I want to get the information I want first, so. <laughs> I'm not sure you are mm. grasping the situation here, deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who will kill you without This guy's hesitation. an idiot. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. How about I don't blow your legs I off? I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. That works for me. No deals. Tell me what I want to know or face the consequences. Ha! I have a <coughs> better idea. Very like that. Instead, <coughs> I tell you something. You don't want to know, but you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other Rangers to protect their own interests. <laughs> Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? You're not persuading me to abandon my duty. I'm not doing this for them. I'm doing it to protect innocent people. There you go. We'll say that. Whatever road brought you <laughs> here, your journey ends today. Oh, really? Barrett, why'd you walk in front of me? No Barrett! Yo, Barrett is a fucking moron. He walked in front of me twice when I was firing. Alright. Brute force seems to be the best gun. Indeed it is. He's dead. I was only for a persuade option, but there never was one. So the funny part about this is there's a choke point here now, and I need to kill everyone in this doorway. Oh, I've killed it already. Yeah, they all have to come to this hallway to fight me. None of them can shoot because this is bulletproof glass. So they, I can just stand here the whole time and wait for them to come to me. Barrett, on the other hand, is a complete moron who walked out there for no reason. 
Why are you going out there? Wait for them to come to us, you fucking idiot. Stay here. Oh my god, he's the biggest moron. The AI is atrociously bad. I'm okay. But now he's down. Good. Stay there, you dunce, and let them come to us. No. No, I'm not. What a stupid dummy. Hitting me. The shotgun really is the best gun I have. It's gonna take a while. How is the shotgun doing that much damage from that far? That's insane. Do shotguns not have range scaling in this game? Apparently not. Look. That is weird. everywhere. I get a lot of good loot for doing this. shows red indicators on the map, but there's no one there. So what are these? And I know this shotgun is, is ridiculously good, Mark. It just kills everything. Look, it just kills everyone from a distance. It kills all the turrets. Huh? Who shot me in the ass? This is someone shot me in the ass, but there's no one over here. Shotgun shells. Who's left? There's 
there's nobody here. What are they talking about? Look, the whole place is empty. Where are these other two enemies? What the f- Where are the other enemies? Is there another room? Oh. Marco had a hidden room back here. Chardonnay. Oh good, I could have turned the turrets off. I already destroyed them all. An old earth hunting rifle. Ooh, a new weapon type. All right, obviously I like the new weapon type, right? That's good. And this one has a, a scope on it too. The cartridge. First officer's hats. Barry got up. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I should probably assign this new gun and get rid of a shitty one. Like this rivet gun is trash, so I'm gonna unfavorite it. Instead, where's the new one that I just got? Here it is. Put this in place of the rivet gun because the rivet gun is trash. Okay, let's try this now. Hunting rifle with a scope. Sweet. So there's a security camera out there. Huh? What the fuck? That turret wasn't even attacking us and he shot it. I want to clear the, the ship out and then I want to loot it. taking turrets out that aren't attacking us. This is very weird. What was this? Oh, that's where the door goes. Never mind. I thought it was like a hidden hatch. It's just the door goes to the ceiling. So it's claiming all the rest of the enemies are over here. Are they turrets on the ceiling, maybe? I think there's an enemy here. There's nothing here, dude. There is no enemy here whatsoever. He's shooting like turrets that I can't see. Oh, it's security cameras. He's shooting the security cameras. But what's the point? The whole ship's disabled now. All right. So now we just, we loot everything. If everyone is dead. We literally cleared out his entire ship. We take whatever we want. Because they're all dead. A boosted injector. Oh, cool. this whole damn crew and him. I guess there's one way to do it. Butter. A stick of butter. I'll take it. I'll take the butter. I got a digipick too. <clears throat> Alright, now let's go loot the bodies of everyone we killed because we killed a ton of people, right? We gotta find all the bodies. All yours. Yeah, they're all dead. It was all mine. Indeed. Stacks of dead bodies everywhere here, here. I turned off the alarm. Shut the fuck up. Anything in here we want to steal that's valuable? I don't know. It looks like it's like a ritzy place, right? I don't know if anything is like stealable and fensible in here. A sculpture? I killed a few people down here, but for some reason I don't see their bodies anymore. Looks like a bunch of junk, right? <laughs> right? Like nothing here. 
I think everything of value was in his room and we already cleared it out. We have our third encrypted uh, pad that we need to get encrypted. Or decrypted, I should say. I wasn't going to give the guy a break. Make a deal with him? Fuck you. Just kill you all your people, you dumbass. I'm afraid of you. Alright. So I think that's really it. I think we looted everything now. He's nice and dead. I like how he's like, oh, I don't think you know the situation you're in. You're in the middle of my ship full of enemies. Like, dude. And? I'm the protagonist. <laughs> Do you really think this is challenging? I'm just gonna kill you all. Like, what an idiot. Yeah, there's nothing down there. A bunch of car, a bunch of junk. See, nothing. Nothing of value. And we already looted his room. Plums. Some delicious plums. All right, and we got a, a new gun out of it, We're so that's good. Up. We got a, a gun with an actual good scope. I don't know how good the gun will be, but it's our first really strong scoped weapon. Well, that's that, I guess. Calm, I thought I had to place, place calm music as I slaughtered them all, right? <laughs> so much for them. I don't think that the first are going to be too happy that I killed, like, their... their you know, smuggler, financier guy. Then again, I don't really give two shits. Yeah, look, different displays, but nothing of real value. Can I break this? No, because I wanted to see if you could grab that globe. Remember, I found a globe earlier and it was valuable. But apparently this is impenetrable. So I can't get those digipics or anything there. It's like a tease. It's a tease of something you can't actually get. All right, well... There's the art they're smuggling right there. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? They're de Wait, what? Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? The stupid security camera must have seen me. <laughs> All right. All right, well, there you go. So much for them. We're off, right? What's next? Give the encrypted slate to Alex, so we're heading back to Aquila City. Very good. Let's split the part here. <laughs>